Hey everybody, Doug Fink, Microsoft MVP. I wanted to walk through my custom GPT called PowerShell Regex Wizard, show you how to use it, see some really cool things, I think. So let's get to it. Okay, so in the link below, or in the subscription, you'll see a link for how to get to this uh, Regex Wizard, so you can use it, it's free. If you have a problem, let me know. Uh, so you get to this Regex Wizard, and um, you can see here, you can click on this for as, a, as an example of a question like create a regex to match IP and IP address in PowerShell. So this is all tuned for regexes in PowerShell and whatnot. So let's, um, let's see if we can do, we'll click on this and you can see it just types that in as a, a prompt and uh, the, reg, the wizard goes off and starts to work and tells you how to match it. It gives you an example of the pattern to match a, an IP address and it puts it in some PowerShell, right? So it use, sets that up, puts in a match. So you can actually copy this down and try it out. And uh, this script will find the first IP address and the provide a string. If you need more precision, precision, uh, they give you one that's even more precise. And uh, it even comes up and says, would you like uh, to create a PowerShell test for this? Okay, and we can say yes. Um, or we can actually copy paste that in or, or we just type in yes let's see what happens so now I'm having a conversation it's remembering what I the initial part of the conversation and now it's going now on to the next piece which is answer the answer to his his question to, to the wizards question create a PowerShell pester test would you like that yep and here we go comes up with uh, a describe and an it block and use the hyphen be so I know it's using the latest and greatest uh, pester and it comes up and it explains all that. Pretty cool. Um, so let that finish out. And so that was by clicking on, let's do a new chat on this. So now what you can do here is you can type your own, like uh, I need a regex for an email. And it comes up, lays that out. Now, if you don't like specific things that it's using, maybe, uh, you know, you have a different way you'd like to have this done. You can sit here and chat with GPT, with the PowerShell Regex wizard, and say, could you do it this way? Could you do it that way? Uh, and so on. And again, it comes up and prompts at the end and says, hey, I can also generate a test. But before we do that, what I want to do is say, um, I, let's say I have um, a Regex to match these, right? And I'll say, I'll give them phone numbers like uh, 212, space 324 hyphen 0175 and i'm gonna take the same one and i'm just gonna do a space that may be a good thing or not let's see if we can delineate and instead of all that i'm gonna do dots right so let's see if it can take a pattern take a pattern what, what i have and if it can uh, actually come up with a regex to handle that and uh that looks pretty good right so it looks for a dot or a hyphen if it's there, great. If not, fine. And uh, it comes up with a way to match this stuff. It even puts in some test strings. And yeah, I want to have, uh, yes, pester. And if I misspelled that and typed it in, it would derive from the conversation that I was typing. I was probably meant pester. It may ask me about it, or it would just go ahead and try and build me some pester tests, even though I misspelled the word pester. And here you go. So now you can actually copy paste this into a file along with the code that is actually doing the pattern matching. Uh, and you can see it run. And notice it actually picks two correct results and then it gives it a bad result to see if it actually gets a false return. And uh, too many digits and alphabetic char characters as well. So that's a nice little range of tests. If I wanted to, I could say generate more tests uh, or with this particular thing or not. Um, so that's just a quick run through of what this PowerShell Regex wizard can do. I suggest give it a try. The links below and if you don't know what to do you can even ask it what do you do how do i work with you and you can see if you can easily come up with regexes without having to do it on your own if you don't want to till next time take care